what is psychosis and what does it mean to be psychotic? That's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. Welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. B. I'm a board certified and fellowship trained physician, and I've been caring for patients for over 20 years. I make educational videos on medical topics that I find interesting. And if you enjoy them, please hit subscribe. The definition of psychosis is a condition where you are unable to identify what's real and what's not real in your own thoughts and the world around you. Psychotic symptoms are primarily divided into two camps, hallucinations and delusions. Hallucinations can involve any of your five senses, your nose, your ears, your eyes, your touch, or your taste. First, auditory hallucinations. This involves your ears, and this is where you can hear things that aren't there. Music, words, voices that might give you instructions or commands, and medical literature has even identified deaf psychiatric patients that have auditory hallucinations, including where they hear music. Then there are visual hallucinations. These are seeing things that are not there. People, places, animals, any type of things. And these may be real things like an elephant or an animal or a cat, or they can be imaginary things like aliens. Then there are olfactory hallucinations. This is where people can smell things that aren't really there. Now, this can be confused with certain types of seizures that affect the temporal lobe of the brain, where you can smell things just before you have a seizure. But people who are psychotic can also smell things that are not there. Next are tactile hallucinations. These occur when you feel things that aren't there. You may feel someone touching your skin or the sensation that bugs are crawling on you, in you or around you, for example. And this type of sensation, tactile hallucinations, is also very common in withdrawal from alcohol or drugs. So you have to distinguish that. Lastly, there are gustatory hallucinations. This is where you taste something in the absence of tasting anything. That is, you're not eating food, but you still taste something. Or gustatory hallucinations can happen when you eat something and the taste doesn't match what you've eaten. For example, everything you eat tastes rotten, like feces or fish or something other than what you're actually eating. Auditory and visual hallucinations tend to be the most common in psychiatric illnesses. The ones that involve feeling, smelling, and taste, these tend to be more common in medical illness-induced psychosis or seizures or migraines or in the setting of medication toxicities. Now, let's go on to delusions. Delusions are defined as fixed false beliefs. And that's what the textbook says. But another way of saying this is a belief that somebody holds dear despite facts, logic, numbers, and overwhelming evidence. They believe that what they say is true, even though it's very unlikely or implausible to be true. There are different types of delusions and they can be grouped into common themes. First of all, there's persecutory delusions. These are when you believe that some entity is against you in some way or some person is against you. For example, you believe you're being followed or someone is watching your home or that your neighbor is spying on you. Another type is referential delusions. This is when you perceive gestures or body language from others or words that have certain meanings just for you. You may even get special messages from the television, from the radio or internet, reaching out just to you with a special message that no one else can decipher. Then there's grandiose delusions. This is feeling that you're famous and people just don't realize it around you. Then there are religious delusions, and this is similar to grandiose delusions, and you feel like you are a famous prophet or a famous person from a religion. Christ, Muhammad, or Buddha would be examples. You've returned to earth, and the people in that religion, although they believe in you, they just haven't realized that you're now in existence. Another type is known as somatic delusions, and this is where you're fixated on something being wrong with your body. An example of this would be the CIA or the United States Army has planted a chip in your head that you didn't know about. Lastly, there's delusions of control. An example of this would be believing that someone is controlling your mind or multiple people are controlling your mind or that you're able to control the mind of others. Now, these delusions, although they have common themes, 
can actually cross over and combine with each other. You can combine somatic control and referential delusions. For example, uh, someone with a delusion who is psychotic can believe that they have CIA implants in their dental fillings that are being used to control them and control their mind and giving them and only them special messages that they are actually God. Psychosis commonly occurs in psychiatric illnesses like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and even very severe major depression. But you don't have to have a psychiatric disorder to be psychotic. Medications are a well-known cause, and these include a long list, but common things are steroids, steroid psychosis. Psychosis has been described in HIV medications and even some common antibiotics. Now, other common culprits of psychosis are illicit substances, such as cannabis, hallucinogens like LSD, acid, and psychosis can also result from medical problems like seizures, thyroid disease, or even after childbirth. Now, as you might imagine, accurate recognition is of course very important because treatment for psychiatric disorders is medication that is specific to that disorder. If psychosis is from a medication or a medical illness, then you treat the underlying illness to treat the psychosis. Those are the criteria for psychosis. Thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more about psychosis, try this video on schizophrenia, where I go in greater detail or for other educational videos, try this video about narcissistic personality disorder. And please don't forget to hit subscribe.